Hey crafty cuties, if you guys haven't noticed, I have got into planning and so when I saw these stamps from Lawn Fawn, I could not pass them up. They have the cutest little icons and I feel like they just really add a lot to your planner. You can use these for all kinds of different projects. So today I'm actually going to do a little review for you guys and I'm going to demo them by making some little stickers using the Memento ink. Um, I'm using these shipping labels just because this makes it super quick and easy to make stickers. And then some Distress ink to give kind of a watercolor effect. And then if you want, you can use little punches to punch the stamps out. They are the perfect size for it. I wish I had one of the circle punches, but I only had the heart punch, but the circle punch would work perfect. So I am just smudging some of the stamp ink onto my tin. And then I am basically just using my little sponge here to, uh, you know, drag it across the entire shipping label or half of the shipping label. Now I will say that this ink does not blend that wonderfully on the shipping label, but it worked out okay. And really once you cut out each stamp slash sticker, um, the unblended effect isn't going to show up. So basically I'm just going to stamp all of these out for you guys so you can see what all of the stamps look like. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you my nails. I love these, they're press on nails and I'll have the details below. I've had some compliments and I really enjoy them. It's hard to keep my nails looking nice for videos with crafting all the time, so these pop on nails, they work great. But anyways, these stamps, um, they, they show up super crisp. I will say that I'm not the best at stamping, so yeah. So here is just a little example for if you wanted to use your punch. And again, using the heart works okay for most of the stamps. This wasn't the best example. But the circle punch um, is the perfect size and it makes it really, really quick. So typically I would just stamp these straight onto my planner, but I wanted to show you another way that you could use them. And it is nice to have stickers just ready to go. I really love these little check mark or checklist bullet points. <laughs> and it's really easy to line up the little lines if you wanted. And I think that having these as stickers is going to come in handy a ton. So here they all are. And I'm just gonna cut mine all out individually. I thought this might be fun to give out as gifts to a few friends who plan. Yeah, and I'm just gonna store them in my little planner sticker box here. And then I wanted to go ahead and just try them out a little bit more because they're so much fun. So I printed out this free calendar. I'll have the link below if you guys wanted to print one out too. It's just really simple. And um, I'm just going to use this month view in my planner and just, I just want, I, I wouldn't normally, you know, stamp all of these out, but I wanted to try it out and they're really fun to color. So yeah, I love them and totally recommend them if you are a planner. Here's a sneak peek of this week's spread that you guys can see on Sunday. But I hope you guys have a good week. Talk to you later. Bye.